Hail and well met, my friends! Welcome, welcome to Warsim! Welcome to the realm of Eslonia! It's a very fun, very fun game! Welcome! You are the ruler of Eslonia! A town that was once the eye of the Great Kingdom and now just barely a scrap of claim to the once great kingdom you rest uneasily while the rebellion is on your doorstep makes its final steps into defeating you and the hordes of countless bandits bandit kings circle your lands waiting to strike the world is vast and complex there's much to see and little time to waste from the ancient lands to the blood-soaked arena these lands call to be united under the flag of Aslonia. welcome to Warsim. It's gonna be great. I picked the hardest difficulty possible. We're, you're gonna see the game. Now, I played this a while ago on my stream. Um, I was drunk. I was not sober. Um, but, fair warning now. Uh, the creators of this game actually reached out to me to, uh, to, to see about playing their game. Um, which I'm very sorry for never getting around to um, I did however stream it if you missed that if you're watching I, I don't know um, so I, I didn't totally ignore your message or email letter mail whatever um, this music is distracting I'm gonna turn it off at the very first convenience um, so yeah Maybe I am a little biased because these people actually reached out to me to try to uh, get me to play their games. So uh, I do actually like it, though. I played a lot on my own. Um, they gave me a free copy of it and asked me to, to play it. Yeah. So here we go. Free promotion. Just well, not free, I guess. I mean, I doubt it cost them any money to give me a copy since they made it. But. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> the world is full of mystery and wonder. There are many peoples in this world. Men, eldritch harpies, beastly orcs, masked fiends, hollow ghouls, warty warlocks, goblins, and demons of the southern gates. Spooky. Uh, I am invited to the royal crowning ceremony, and as I enter the first crown room for the first time as the ruler of Eslonia... Eslona? Eslona. Not Eslonia? Whatever. Crowds of people gather to see their new king. As you take a moment to observe the room, the High General approaches. I hope you are well, my lord. I shall crown you as the one true king of Eslonia. Eslona. You gain this title by default as your father, the Mad King, is no longer fit to rule and rests now in the dungeons. Let us hope you do not follow him. I've never actually gotten that one. Most of the time, they decide that I'm a bandit who took over this kingdom with my 300 bandits. Alright, uh, I crown you as the King of Eslonia. Long may you reign. Uh, now I crown may you speak to the old Kroll, who is a tutorial man. No, thank you. Alright, so... Negative 22 opinion? Come on! Alright, uh... Okay. Uh, 50 gold, 23 men, 23... Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, first things first, I suppose. Uh, laws. All right. Uh, recruitment. Am I am I doing free enlistment? Yeah, I'm doing free enlistment. Uh, the militia is legal. Uh, goblin policies. I'm gonna go ahead and ban slavery. All right. That's plus two opinion. Um, you would ban ban goblin slavery. The slavers have been jailed and the slaves have been freed across your lands. Eight goblins have come to serve you out of gratitude. Hooray! Alright, um, mercenary policies. I'm not gonna outlaw mercenaries yet, uh, cause I might need them. Uh, alms, can't afford that yet. Crimes? Uh, nope, nothing evil there. 788. Eight. I discourage longer harvest hour. Oh no, I'm evil? I'm not evil. That was my dad. Aw oh, man. Well, I could declare uh, curf a curfew or or breathing tax or whatever but I'm not gonna I'm a good guy I'm a good king my dad was the bad one he was crazy okay I'm not I'm not crazy uh, okay so next things next uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire old crow sorry old crow bye and we're gonna hire a new high high diplomat there 
Uh, oh wait, actually I might not have any money to do so with. Oh well, we could still look at him. I don't have my flute with me. Uh, three potential head diplomats in are sent to our court. Uh, one is uh, R R R R Rigmar the Merchant. Greetings, my name is Rigmar the Merchant. I'm highly regarded by kings and queens from the realm for my work, and I was born ready to work for you. 160 gold per season. Uh, eh, you know, 105 skill. Um, I once helped, uh, oh, Yar the Merchant. I once helped a uh, kingdom convince their enemies to go to war with each other. I wouldn't mind serving you. Uh, oh, 146. Okay. I'm the one named Sir Imar the Volunteer. Oh, boy! He actually is a volunteer. I'm highly regarded by kings and queens of the realm, and I will serve you honorably with no pay. Dude! He's 144. I'm gonna take him over Yar, man. <clears throat> Even though Yar has two points on him, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the free dude. Yeah. Alright, um, what's next? Uh, goblins. Right, so, uh, now that I've freed the goblins from our territory, uh, arranged diplomacy, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange them with, uh, the minor goblin clans. This is why I need a better diplomat, uh, cause poor old Kroll cannot afford the walk into the middle of nowhere to speak to these poor savage goblins who I just freed. Uh, so, ca Clan Kerr, uh, trade agreement. Uh, the tribe is pleased and offered a celebration. Uh, send them word that I am equally pleased. And then the next one, trade agreement, pleased, yep. Third one, oop, oh, not gift, uh, trade agreement, pleased, yep. Four, trade agreement, I am pleased. Mm hmm. And five, trade agreement, I am pleased. Indeed! We have called, we have brought together a very good thing here. Um, in a few turns, I'll probably be able to uh, to afford to ally with them, which will send me troops periodically, and I think more gold. I don't know. Uh, okay, so next, I'm gonna explore the realm. I'm gonna go to the east a little bit. Uh, explore. Hey, there's the eastern trading post, and I want to go ahead and set up a trade contract with them. You come upon a small trading so coast settled upon a dune. It is known locally as the Eastern Trading Post. You are entered and greeted. Oh, by the way, the Farad Desert is a very warm place. Suited knights avoid this place as possible. Desert is filled with magic and mystery. Yep. To the south is badlands. To the west is uh, nice, happy fields. And to the north is uh, a spooky ice land. Alright, so uh, next, uh, arrange diplomacy with the independent nations here. So we have oh, the old land of Stival. Who are these dudes? Well, they don't like me. My head diplomat tells me that uh, diplomatic with these men is not possible due to their lack of civility. Alright, so let me... Well, what are they? Known as winged demonic beasts. Its people are weird, unworldly, and sinister. And their appearance is uncanny. Spooky. They believe in hate and suffering, and are known to be many, many to be a force of evil in the world. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, and also negative seven relation. So, uh, what about their leader? Who, are, who is she? Captain Bone, the three chins. <laughs> oh boy, and she's very stupid, but she's very skilled too. All right. Uh, so, beastly orcs. Hey, actually, we got a good relationship with them off the bat. So. Uh, Kingdom information, oh boy. Known for their brutish appearance and protruding tusks, orcs are known to be a powerful but savage race of warriors. Its people are said to be beastly in nature, they believe in hate and suffering, or are considered to be a force of evil in the world. Well, well, their famed words are, they know, then you were. Ooh, spooky. So, uh, we've got a good relationship with them though, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trade with them. Yep. Oh. I can't afford that. How about can, can we can we like haggle? Three hundred gold. Actually, I probably could afford that, but I didn't take my money out of my bank. I'll keep haggling it down. Oh no, haggled it up. Hey, there we go. Now we're trading. <laughs> the secret is to try over and over until they get annoyed. Uh, so, uh, High Chief Kulkrok the Jester. Who is a mercantile leader? Very not skilled, though. Well, 
Cool. We're trading with them now, so, uh... It doesn't seem like I'm at war with any of the other, uh... Any of the other clans here. Uh, so... Chief Ainan the Dog Slayer. Uh, these people are too... Savage for me to do anything with. Known as the Spawn of the Underworld, fiends are massive and aggressive, hell-bent on the destruction of life! Oh, no! We're simple masks. Shoot. Uh, hollow ghouls, yep, they're savage too, but, and now I'm at war with them because I went and investigated. Uh, warty warlocks, let's see if I can get peace with them. Sacrifice two peasants, no way! Bye! Fuck that! Alright, so next would be, uh... Uh, visiting the throne room, I suppose? Well, let me get the money out of the bank first. Um, withdraw all of my money, which is 500 gold. That was the entire kingdom savings. Some kingdom. Alright, uh, uh... Throne room. Next visitor. Uh, he refuses to fight with goblins. I agree to... Wait, no, I don't agree to do so. God damn it. Uh, bandit who wishes to enlist. Sure, whatever. There's more soldiers. We need more soldiers. A uh, soldier kicked in his door. Fine. Uh, paid him reparations. Visit by a farmer who wishes to take part for the country and fight. Hell yeah! Uh, man is a, who's accused of murdering peasants. Fenor told me your lands were weak, and he was right. Oh man. We'll ask the guard what's up. If he's not guilty, let me be struck by lightning, for I am so sure. Alright, uh, take him to the dungeons. We we're not the kind of guys to just execute people in the throne room, so he gets to, he gets the due process. Uh, visited by an old man who asks if he could spare a few coins to give to his family uh, before they eat <laughs> resort to eating their dog. All right, five coins. You know, just, I I can't afford much, but I can still feed him for a couple days. Visited by a farmer who wants to fight. Yep. Visited by uh oh no message uh, Fenor. Leader of the Bandit Horde. He says, Fenor has been observing me and wishes to form a truce as I lead my people with brutality. Which isn't true! It's just they don't like me very much, so they say bad things about me and the bandits think that I'm a bad guy, so whatever. I'll accept the truce. They won't pillage me anymore. Oh, the minor bandits will still. A uh, farmer who says a dispute needs to be settled. My neighbor bought some grain for me, then burnt down my field and tried to sell me the grain back bought from me for ten times the price he paid. Crop burning bastard. Alright, make him compensate by giving him his land. Alright, you are visited by a farmer who wishes to join the army and we're all killed by bandits. Yep, sure, that's, that's certainly a good backstory. And my king, I wish to better the realm of Eslonia by Eslona by questing for you. Hell yeah, go on a quest. Alright, uh, visited by a farmer who wishes to join because his family was killed by goblins. I'm sorry, but there are goblins in the army. You gotta deal with it. Alright, so... Recruit now. Uh, hire as many soldiers as I can. I can get... Uh... Ten. Alright. Ten soldiers. Yeah. Cool. Um... Gonna go ahead and save it real quick. Uh, save that as two. Okay. Uh... I'm not sure. Is there anything else that I can do? This turn. Nope. Go ahead and end the turn and hope I don't get attacked. Nothing of interest occurs. Yay! Didn't get attacked. I made seven, 527 gold. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Wait, let me go ahead and load that real quick. I'm sorry for save scumming. Um, two, nine. I'm gonna go ahead and put my single gold coin into the bank. Oh, wait, I won't be able to afford... The entry fee. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh, maybe I'll get lucky this time in uh, Noble. Well, no. Nope. Oh, I should have looted. Oh well, I know what I can do. I can sell my soldiers back. Um, sell uh ten. 250 gold is plenty, plenty enough to buy them back eventually. And now, here's the get-rich-quick scheme. 
visit the arena, bet on a fight, uh, Lava Goat, Key Knaves, Knaves Bandit, or uh, uh, Ghoulish Knight. I'm going to go ahead and bet 100 gold on the knight. Oh, yep, won that bet, and now a Mask Fiend Soldier or an Agitated Bandit. I'm going to go ahead and bet for neither of them, because I don't know which one of those is better than the other. Uh, the screams of the crowd echo all around as fighters emerge from the gates. They stride closer as the horns blow and the crowd roars. Mass Fighter, uh, Mass Fighters kicks the soldier bandit over, uh, ba makes bandit misses only slightly, crowd cheer and shout for the agitated bandit. Uh, Mass Fiend Soldier swings for the agitated bandit, misses only slightly. Uh, Mass Soldier gets a great hit on the agitated bandit and knocks him dead. Yeah. A goblin Warlord versus Goblin Berserker. I'm going to go ahead and bet uh, 250 gold on the uh, Warlord there. Though, to be fair, Warlords don't necessarily need to be able to fight, but uh, in, in Goblins, they do. Alright, so 500 gold there. Uh, Eldritch Harpy Warrior before Masked Fiend Warrior. I think Fiend might win, so I'm going to go ahead and bet 250 more on the Fiend. Because if I recall, their description is... Hulking creature. Oh no! Fuck. The harpy one. That's eh, fine. I can make it back. Uh, beastly orc reaver or warty warlock. I believe the warty warlock is just a uh, just a normal peasant of their civilization. So I'm gonna bet on the uh, reaver there. Come on! Kingdom needs this money. I'm I'm gambling, gambling for the sake of the kingdom. All right, five hundred gold. Hollow Ghoulish Knight or Beastly Orc Reaver Lord? I'll go ahead and abstain from this one because I don't know uh, how good Hollow Ghouls are. Huh, should have bet for the Lord. Alright, uh, another one. Come on. Vagrant Eldritch Harpy or Goblin Warlord? I don't know because goblins are pretty weak, but that's a Warlord Goblin. Was, uh, I'm losing 10 gold every time I don't bet on either one of them. Yeah, see? Harpy. Alright. Blind Beastly Reaver Orc or Homeless Beastly Orc. Oh, but he's a lord. I don't know. Does the blindness really... I don't know. Yeah, he, he would have won. I was going to bet for the uh, one that wasn't blind, so... Beastly Orc Reaver versus Knight. Is a Reaver just a soldier or their equivalent of a knight? God damn it. All right, well, just studying, you know, making no bets. All right, so a beastly orc reaver beats a knight. Cool, uh, servant hollow ghoul or masked fiend warrior. Don't go ahead and bet uh, 250 for the warrior there. Hey, cool. Uh, cursed beastly orc lord or a warty warlock. All right. Go ahead and uh, bet 500 for the Orc Lord. Cursed or not, that other guy is just a peasant. Alright. Uh, we'll get a critical hit on the Warty Warlock. Alright. Uh, Hollow Goozlish Warrior or Masked Fiend Warrior? I'll go ahead and take another bet on the Fiend for just uh, 500 gold. Not a huge bet. I'm not totally confident in this. Uh, yep, he won. Goblin Warlord versus Red Tooth the Wind Breather. I don't know Red Tooth. I mean, if he wins this, then I'll be pretty confident in him. Got ah, Goblin Warlord won. Uh, Fiend Warrior versus Mutilated Hollow Ghoulish Warrior. Gonna go ahead and bet a pretty substantial amount on the Fiend. A thousand gold. See, we're working up our gold. Uh, yep, one. Now we got 2,000 gold. Uh, agitated war war Warty Warlock Acolyte or Masked Fiend Warrior. I don't know what an Acolyte is. I think that might be a Warrior equivalent. Uh, Masked Fiend 1. Mysterious Masked Fiend Warrior or a, a single normal goblin. All right. 2,500 on the Warrior because I'm pretty confident. Hey, 5,000 gold. Uh, Hollow Ghoulish Warrior or... Ooh. 
I'm gonna bet on the orc. Uh, I'm gonna bet half my gold on it. <clears throat> I can just win it back if I fail. Oh no! Alright, hollow ghouls beat orcs, apparently. 2,500 on the ghoul versus the orc. Come on. Hey! Alright, made my money back. Uh, Karan Rogerson, the fourth. I'll go ahead and bet a uh, thousand gold on Karen there. Because he seems like a hero. Come on. Hey! Alright. Uh, Views is a mutilated masking soldier. Alright. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll bet uh, 2,500 on, on Karen there. Yay! Karen's pretty good. Uh, hollow Ghoul versus Hollow Ghoulish Knight. So a knight versus a peasant, pretty much. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll bet the rest of the money that the arena has on that. Hey, What do you know? The knight beat the peasant. Alright, so... Uh, now on to the other business. I need, uh... Can I hire orcs? Let me, let me go, uh, visit Diplomacy Land, uh... Orcs, orcs, orcs... Uh, it's an independent territory. Beastly orcs. Did I buy any soldiers from you? Uh, hire troops. Can I? Nope. None are for hire. I could, though, if they had any. So... Deserters? Just a single soldier. Well, whatever. I'll hire him. <laughs> Alright. Ten gold for a soldier, that's pretty cheap. Alright, so I'm gonna go and, and uh, explore the eastern grasslands a little more. Or, Hey! Little wagon carrying various goods. The wagon master, who identifies himself only as the wagon man, recognizes me and bows. All right. He wants to set up a trading with me, which I did. I don't know who he is, but I encounter him a bunch, and he comes to, like, coronations and stuff. So it's got to be important. Hopefully not a demon. All right. Uh, change laws of the land. I want to subsidize the uh, arena already. Now, let's see if I can get any more troops. Uh, yeah. Peasants first. By 12. Soldiers, 30. And, uh, knights, I can get one. Okay. Bandits, uh... He has one bandit. Sure, why not? <clears throat> Alright. So, uh, is that it? No, I gotta visit my throne room. Okay, next dude. Um... Bandit wants to enlist, sure. The farmer wishes to do his duty, sure. And that was all that wanted to visit today. So, save, save the game, two, and I think we're ready to end the turn now. Wait, I want to make a new law. Uh, the arena is now subsidized. Cool. I didn't pay attention to what the text said, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, end the turn. The king, what are your orders? Nothing. Just wait and hope we don't get invaded. Hey, cool. Alright, so, uh, 850 cool gold generated, but 1,718 expended. We're still not in the green yet. Okay. So, now to repeat the same thing as before, except faster, because I have no, I have more money. I bet on a fight. Come on. Eldritch Harpy Queen versus Earthquake the Much Despised. <laughs> Okay. Crowd is electric as their chanting can be heard for miles around. Yeah, the Harpy Queen one. Uh, Cursed Knight versus Soldier. I'm gonna go ahead and... Actually, I don't know if the Soldier would win. Because it's a, a fiend and the Knight is cursed. Hey, yeah. Cursed Knight won. Uh, Warty Grand Warlock versus the Mutilated Warty Warlock. Alright, gonna go ahead and bet uh, 10,000 gold on the Grand Warlock. That's a pretty safe bet. Hey, what do you know? Right, and uh... Gorvok Bluefist versus the Eldritch Harpy. Uh, I don't know. Gorf Gorfok, or whatever. Yeah, the Eldritch Harpy one. Those guys seem pretty strong. Eldritch Harpy versus Soldier. 
I'll confidently bet the uh, rest of the arena's money on that. Oh, Grand Champion, uh, what's up with that? Uh, Hunrik Feindelson is the current Grand Champion of Barcelona. He has currently won a single fight and has earned him the title of Grand Champion, let's see, uh, versus Gorman Simpson or something. Let's see. Uh, Hunrik blocks, blocks, uh, gets a fantastic strike, block. Uh, Jesus Christ! Corman couldn't even get in a single hit. Alright, well, Hunrik has won a single fight, which puts him above all the other previous Grand Champions. Uh, and then the one who beats him will be stronger, and I'm gonna wait a while before I hire the Grand Champion as my own champion, because, you know, the more times he gets defeated, the, the stronger the one who's winning will be. Alright, uh, so what, what next? Um, I have a little bit of spare gold. I can go ahead and buy some walls for our tiny little hamlet. Uh, where's the walls? Palisade, come on. Defense Palisade. Nine. There's 5,000 gold down the pooper. And now I'm gonna hire some mercenaries who's uh, cheap but strong. Uh, maybe the Silver Shadows? Let me assess them. A group of fairly well trained warriors. Um, they have Silver Pickmasters. Um, Alright, let me hire them for one attack. Um, get some rebels, re rebel lands. Made some rebel lands. Let's see how they do. Your men arrive at the rebels' territory and prepare to prepare for a battle that will soon take place. As you plot a rebel village, the enemy emerges and the battle begins. Whoa! Uh, invasion was a success and a lot of the uh, pickmasters died. Which is good for me, because I don't want frickin' mercenaries hanging around. So, uh, let me see about a different one with a little more men. How about the Midland Rangers? Midland elites. Ooh, let me assess them. Unremarkable fighters. Yeah, I'll hire them. They're cheap. Uh, take a little more from the from from the rebels. Uh, small rebel village and success. Cool. Okay. Um, how much land does the rebels have now? Uh, they have four. All right. Still not bigger than the rebels, but. Doing good. Um, I can now arrange for the uh, alms, right? Yeah, let me give alms to the poor, uh, plus five public opinion. Um, and I believe that might passively raise my public opinion occasionally, I'm not sure. But I don't want to be a bad guy, okay? Now, uh,. What else do I have to do? Visit the throne room? Yeah, I have two people waiting for me. Uh, visited by a retired knight who wants to quest? Sure. Visited by a farmer who claims one of my soldiers broke his fence and he seeks reparations. Sure. Give him 50 gold. That should suit him. Alright, now see soldiers. I can hire six peasants, uh, ten soldiers, and one knight. Cool. The peasants aren't really for fighting, they uh, increase your gold income uh, based on how many lands you have. So, now I should arrange diplomacy, and well, how much gold do I have? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange diplomacy and visit the goblin clans again. Now, Clan Crooker, give them a gift, they thank me, and Alliance. They call for a celebration. Hooray! Gift! Alliance! Hooray! Three? Uh, gift and alliance. Hooray! Four. Gift. Alliance. Yep. And five. Gift and alliance. Yep. Now I am the ally of the tribal peoples. Let me see about the. Uh... Are all of these dudes evil? Let me check the warlocks. Uh, information. Uh, yeah. All of these other people are evil. Great. At least the orcs will trade with me. <laughs> Can I hire any troops from them yet? Uh, nope. I'm certainly not going to ally with any of those dudes. Um, is that everything? 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save my gold. Save the game. Back to... Okay, uh, wait! One thing I wanna do is uh, visit the bank and deposit uh, half my gold. Well, about half my gold. There. End my turn. Hopefully I don't get attacked. Oh, shoot. Uh, being attacked by the Dusk Eagles. Ooh! Those are bandits, right? Uh, oh no, my lands were captured. That's okay, I had some spare lands, hooray! Oh, I didn't pay attention to if I'm in the positive or not. Right, so first things first, arena? Yep, went on a fight. Uh, Eldritch Harpy Warrior, Blessed Knight, I don't know. The Harpy is blind, but the Harpies are also fucking intense, apparently. Uh, yep. Blind Harpy won. Uh, Agitated Peasant versus an Orc Reaver Lord. It doesn't matter how angry you are. Your anger will not give you power enough to kill a Reaver Lord. Yep. 20,000 gold. Um, beastly Orc Reaver versus, versus a Goblin. And that is almost all of the gold that the arena has. Roars of the crowd echo for miles around. Alright. <clears throat> Al Ghoulish Warrior versus an infamous goblin. Uh, let me just bet the rest of the gold that the arena has. This doesn't seem fair. Alright, cool. That's uh, good. Quick. Um, now, we'll go ahead and hire some mercenaries. Um, got some really expensive ones. Let me hire the Silver Shadows again. I hire to attack the rebels. Invade some of their lands. Come on. Oh no. God damn it. Freaking wasted money that's destroyed them. Jesus Christ. Uh, what about the ragged nocturnal walk? Nine archers? Excuse me? No. Nine ragged archers. Round profits. Uh, 130. Wait. Check out these uh, ocean mammals. Right left, the flower leads the northern serpents of the ocean. Cool. Let me hire them for a couple attacks on the uh, uh, rebels here. Yep. Cool. Yeah, they're pretty good. I can probably take out the rebels this turn. That's another threat gone. Okay. Three, yeah. There. And, uh... Yeah, they got plenty left. Um, hire for one final attack on the rebels. I believe this will be all of their land. Yep. Slaughtered the entire garrison, and at the rebel capture the capital, my men rush into the main keep to fight the remaining defenders. Ooh. Whoa! Hey, they were successful! Cool, that's the first time I've seen them actually win at capturing the uh, rebel thing. Uh, congratulations, my king! The rebellion is crushed and far at all the Kingslayer rests on a pike. There are some who now declare their allegiance to you, but... Ten opinion, five knights, a hundred soldiers, ten bandits, ten tribals, and two hundred peasants. Alright. Oh, hey, and they're unable to fight anymore this turn. Cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and see if the uh, mid nah, the Midland Rangers are a little beat up. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can really do this turn with the mercenaries, because they got pretty beat up, and uh, the ones that are still good, yeah. How about I uh, go ahead and upgrade my walls a little bit. Go ahead and upgrade my walls, and now I want to initiate a uh, bandit scourge, which is basically just a bounty on all bandits. Okay. Action has ended the truce between the bandits and Eslona. Well, no shit. The fucking bandits! Alright. Now, anything else that I need to do this turn? Well, Jesus, where, I thought I had 20,000 gold. 
whatever. Um, I just gotta hire as many people as I can. 42, um, 30. See, the numbers are increasing as I get more land. Three, three knights, because I have three lands, I guess. Um, I have 37 bandits, sure. Just to increase my numbers. And now save as two. Okay. No one's gonna invade these lands now. We're already doing way better than we were at the start of the game. Okay. My king, what are your... Th no, we're not gonna invade any anyone because we need those soldiers for... Hey, I'm in the green! I lost 2,403, but I gained 3,131. And nobody attacked me either. Okay, so... Uh, first things first, arena. Go ahead and bet on... Ultra Sharpie, definitely. Um, 9,000 gold on that, I'm pretty confident. They stride closer as the horns blow. Ultra Tarpy wins. No surprise. Cursed Maxed Fiend Soldier versus a normal old bandit. How about uh, 15,000 on that uh, fiend? What? Oh, come on! The bandit wins? What happened? Well, that's a very good hit. Blocks and manages to receive a small. Cursed the best fiend, he's he's beaten that Ha oh, come on. Alright, I'm no longer confident in the fiends at all, but at least this next guy is a pacifist, so I can bet all of my money on anyone versus a pacifist. Cool. Um Eldritch Harpy versus Lulok the released. I'm gonna go ahead and bet neither, because I don't know who Lulok is. I only saw him fight a peasant. Hey, Lulok beat a, beat a Harpy! Alright. Beastly Orc versus a Fiend? I don't know, that's a Peasant Orc and that's a Warrior Fiend. Alright, uh, yeah, the Warrior one. Uh, Drac the Unicorn versus a Masked Fiend Warrior. I'm gonna go ahead and bet, uh, 5,000 on the Unicorn. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, yep. A good bet. Track the unicorn versus a ghoul. Go ahead and bed 12,000 on him. Yep. And now, uh, pacifist. Alright, so. 24,000. I'm going to make much money off of this bloodshed rendered onto a pacifist monk of some kind. Whoa, wait a minute. What? The pacifist won? Excuse me? Whoa, what? Oh, come on! These fucking harpies are broken! No! Oh, oh! My money. My money's... Oh, I only have 640 now. Bandit Warlord. I guess I'll try to bet as much as I can. Oh, what the fuck? The soldier beat the warlord. Oh, oh, no! I don't know who Laurel is, if she would beat an Orc Reaver or not. <clears throat> oh, she did. I should have bet on her. Eldritch Harpy versus Laurel. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, fuck. So, yeah, I should have bet on the Harpy. Malak King Hater. Sure, I'll, I'll bet 50 gold on Malak. Sounds like an orc name. Okay. Common Berserker versus o o Olo. Sure, I'll bet. Uh, four wait, forty gold? I lost that bet. Oh come on. Oh well, I have tons of money in the bank, so I shouldn't be too beat up about it. Let me go ahead and get my money back though. Bet on uh, Olo, definitely uh, versus a vagrant bandit. Keep going Olo, please. God dang it. Homeless Goblin versus a Heroic Warlock. <laughs> that seems unethical. Alright. Making money back. Uh, Cursed Goblin versus a Reaver Lord. Definitely the Reaver Lord. Alright. Sadros the Bolt. Yeah, him versus a Goblin. Go ahead and bet 350 on him. 
So today is the day that Kritzibar, the king of Eslona, almost lost the uh, kingdom's entire treasury gambling on arena fights. <laughs> yep. 700 gold on Stalo, Sadros. Yeah, either side of arena fighters come in. Yep. Uh, Sir Kedron. Sir Kedron, isn't that a character from a soldier? I mean, no, story? There's a goblin warlord. I don't know which would win there. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, Sir Kedron won. Uh, Sir Kedron versus a mutilated bandit. Definitely Kedron there. Oh, heck, did I forget to explore last turn? God dang it. Oh, well. Vagrant. Grand Warlock, yes. Definitely betting on the Grand Warlock, regardless if he's a vagrant. Hey, Not an unwise bet. Vagrant Soldier versus an Eldritch Harpy. Definitely the Harpy, Jesus Christ. These fucking Harpies are fierce. Even their peasants are able to... Masked Fiend versus a peasant. Probably the Masked Fiend. Ah! Oh, shouldn't have any confidence in the Fiends. Hey, he won at least. Uh, Blessed Masked Fiend Soldier versus a Gladiator. i still not too familiar with the Gladiators. How good they are. Yeah, Gladiator won. Uh, Thorn of the Wild North. The second. Bet all of my money on him. <laughs> hey, it wasn't an unwise... Well, it wasn't unwise, but... Ooh, Eldritch Harpy Queen. How are we going to bet uh, 15,000 on her? Sorry, Thorn. Yep, Elders Carpy, Harpy won quickly. Blind Goblin versus a Harpy Queen. Oh, hey. I've already completely drained the arena. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright. Well, that's the, the end of the arena that turn, and now we have... 49,600 gold to spend. Now, what should I do? I should go check the orcs to see if they have, uh, any soldiers for me. Uh, nope. I should start a celebration for ending the, uh, rebellion. Oh, wrong screen. No wonder I can't find it. Uh, Laws of the Land... Declare a celebration for uh, Dead Rebellion Day uh, every every two years, even though it's going to get tedious. Um, we will give gifts of gold, gifts and gold. Have uh, people getting drunk, and uh, should I go parades or a ceremony? Parades, sure. It's gonna get tedious real fast. Cool. Okay, so anything else that I should do here? Hey, I lost my evil, my my evil trait there. Cool. Okay, so I should see if the mercenaries have recovered a, le a, a little. Silver pythons have replaced the silver whoever. Silver ambushers. Let me uh, assess them. Band of unmatched warriors. Cool. Let me go ahead and uh, hire them to take care of someone. How about the bandits? Take care of this bandit problem here. Invade some lands. Yep. <clears throat> Cool. They, they need some time to recover now. Let's see if the uh, Mamluks here... Mamluks, right? Yeah, let's see if the Mamluks here can uh, do anything for me of this bandit horde. 
da, 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 da. men arrive at the bandit horde's territory and prepare battle that will soon take place. As you spot a large bandit fort, uh, the enemy emerges from within and... Really? The Mamluks failed? Alright. Midland Rangers. Uh, they have 98 Midland elites. Nah. Anyone else worthy of uh, being hired by me? Nah. Nah. They're they're all they're all fucked. All right. Uh. Oh, explore. Don't forget that. Uh, Eastern Grand Mystery Slaver. Arrest this man. Yep, yep, that's as simple as it is. Just straight up arrest him. Alright, throne room. One, uh... A visit by a great grift to celebrate the Dead Rebellion Day. 120... It's not even today, though. Uh, allow him to quest. Uh, very well, I shall go on a quest for you. Um, Townsman brought me a present. Yeah, everyone's bringing me presents, and it's not even the celebration yet. Aw. Yeah, 20... Go oh, hell yeah! Sorry for the skip in the music. I, I had to. Someone was knocking at my door, which means that I gotta go in a minute. If you would like to see a second episode of this, uh, do say so, because I do like this game. But, it, you know, I imagine it gets boring pretty quickly to watch. I just wanted to, you know, show it off, because I really love this game. You play as the King of Esselona. It's, yeah, so uh, let me just finish up this turn and everything. Uh, more gifts. Uh, we will see the cool. Uh, Celebration, probably, <clears throat> in which we will see many things, many wonders. Uh, ooh, a drunk man enters my court and declares he wishes to challenge me to a drinking contest. However, a second later, passes out. Have, have my guards wake him and then force him to drink every, drink every drink in the room. No, I wanted to, I wanted to accept his drinking contest. Well. Take him to a room to sleep it off, okay? I'm, I'm a nice guy. He's fucking drunk as heck. I should give him a bed. Alright, um... Visit the Mad King's dungeon room? Excuse me? I've never seen that before. Dude, visit the chamber that holds the Mad King of Eslona. As you approach, you hear faint mumbling. Speak with him. Are you with them, my son? No. I don't know if I believe you. I shall discuss, have to discuss it with the cockroaches. They are the true council of Asalona, you know. I get the feeling he's like talking about the demons or something, in which case, no! I will never ally with such scum. Why am I here? Uh, because you are mad, my father. Mm. Should I? It's a conspiracy. I know, but don't tell anyone. Alright, let me see if I can... Oh my god! No. Hmm, perhaps I was wrong about myself. Are you with them, my son? Nope. Yeah, I think, uh... I was saving everyone. The spymaster and the jester, and the general and the cat. Everyone was working together to kill me. I will kill them all. No one was working against you, or say nothing. Hmm. Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna, like, go and be violent over my dad's... freaking ...mad ravings, but... I mean, he doesn't seem... ...belligerent. Silence is the tool of evil! Okay, um... Yeah, I, got, I gotta get back on track. Uh, I'll talk to him next time. You know, ne if, if I ever play this again. Uh I should do an upgrade. This is a cheap one. Um How about a blacksmith? Uh, an armory. It's not necessarily cheap, but you know, I can afford it. And it will help me with the defending of the land. Sure. I want to convert some knights. Oh, 
Oh, fuck! No, I didn't mean to... Freaking... Oh... Idiot! Oh, fuck. I typed 12 instead of 18, and now we have better mercenaries, which is gonna be bad when I need to fucking get rid of the mercenaries. Oh... Oh well. Let's see, uh, yeah, I could have hired people. But not now, let me hire as many soldiers as I can. 60 soldiers, uh, I could actually afford it. Alright. So, uh, that'll be the end of the turn. Save it as two. There. And, uh, end the turn. Let's see this celebration here. Bunch of no attacks. Uh, battle is taking place. Oh, fuck. Oh, it was just, just a skirmish, so I don't have to worry about it. All right. Oh, hey! Okay, so the celebration wasn't that turn. Uh, heck. I'm out of gold. That's okay, I'll just go to the bank and gamble it back. Draw all. I also gained some interest on my gold. Um, like, what word am I waiting for here? Right, arena. Eight. Unified uh, Bandit Warlord versus Gla I don't know how good gladiators are, so I don't know if that's reasonable for them. Yeah, gladiator one. So gladiator is pretty good. Lord of Warlock, Acolyte, Prisoner, Rebel, Peasant. Okay, ten thousand gold on the Warlock there. Yep. Bet on Nasbeen uh, Soldier versus Beastly Orc Reaver. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bet. 7,000 on the... Yeah. So I wasn't able to make all of my money back. But, uh... Yeah. Some of it. Uh... And I guess I'll just do the daily things and hire some soldiers. Maybe hire a mercenary to take some of the bandit lands. Old sandstone ruins? Uh, I'll visit them. You approach some old sandstone ruins. It's unclear what once stood here, be it a fortress or a town, or something else entirely. The only thing that is clear is that time has swallowed the hole and left it uh, be behind. Whatever. Uh, and this is Fort Gothmic. Okay, so. Blessing. Uh, visit my throne room. Uh, ooh. One of your, I've never seen this one before. One of my guards steps forward and presents to you a case that has been divided in the court. Uh, two men have both claimed a baby to be their own. One a thin farmer and the other a thick dock working woman. Wait. Wait. Oh, okay. Two women. I thought it was two men. Uh, order the baby to be cut in half. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Sorry, had to go AFK for a second. That's a good reference right there. Um, <laughs> the dungeons with the morph. No. Uh, how about the farmer, I guess? Uh, the other cries, the matter is considered settled. Oh, that poor woman. Living babies are so rare. In this in this time period, uh, visit by traveling bard and uh, vampiric loot for four hundred and thirty-two gold. And he's not even the best musician. Nah, man. Just, just fuck that fucking vampire. Get out of my court. All right. Joke. Uh, is it true that northerners sleep? It is true that northerners sleep with their horses. If you've seen a northern woman, you'll know why. Northern women. Northern woman, you'll know why. Uh, it's an all right joke. It's a good joke. Uh, visited by a man who claims to be from the black market. If you, you must destroy the black market in the war on near north. Pigsy the Bandit King is the most evil man, and the black market is the place of darkness. Uh, thank you for the information. I have not gone there yet. Uh, my king, I yearn to quest for Aslona. Sure. Well, a hedge knight. Man, you ain't even a real knight. Whatever, uh, visited by a farmer, claims soon the soldiers kicked in his door, pay him back. Uh, armed bandit who wishes to join? Sure. Uh, farmer who asks to join? Yep. This is by a wise man who says he has some advice. I heard from a seller of an ancient island far beyond the sea. That uh, doesn't help me at all. I'm pretty sure we're landlocked. Uh, this is by a wise man who says he has some advice. Uh, 
Slaves and slave soldiers can be a good source of peasants and soldiers. Just hire a great deal of them and grant them freedom. That's pretty nefarious. But okay. Uh, okay. Can you do that? Without taking like a morality hit here? I don't know. Alright, uh, last thing is last. Hire some more soldiers. 62 peasants. Uh, 70 men. 13 knights? Jesus Christ. My gold. 69 bandits. My gold! These wages are gonna be fierce. Save the game. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna hire, hire uh, mercenaries for uh, one of the lands. Oh, the Mamluks. You... Well endowed recruits? <laughs> the well endowed tribe have replaced the Mamluks. Assess some unimpressive bunch of recruits. Oh boy. Wait, what's their leader? Clayton the Burden. <laughs> oh boy. Well, what about him? He's he's not a very good leader. All right. Um. Yeah, these are all really bad really bad mercenaries, so I'm going to leave them alone. And one last thing, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of poor, poor old Gorin. Gorin may retire now. Um, fire him. We can afford a better one. Hire a new general. Sir Toroth of Hyor. Uh, good general. You'd be an act of fool if not hire me. Uh, 125 gold a season. That's pretty all right, General. Uh, I can hold and command vast armies. I will serve you as loyally as I can. Uh, ooh, that's a pretty good one. Uh, I, I, good General. I am Gobold Tigerclaw. I, good General. It would be a dream come true to serve you. I request pay of 125 per season. Now nah, I'm gonna go ahead and hire uh, Elsie. Elsie the keeper. He's a keeper! <laughs> Alright, um... Go ahead and hire a jester, too, I guess. Pigskin of the Outlands. Uh, I'm funnier than an orc is wild, and I specialize in non-orc jokes. It's quite funny if you get to know me. Uh, 92 skill of Sod Goblin Hater. I'm studying much on foolery and com comedy. I specialize in non-orc jokes. Uh... I'd go as far as to say there are a few who can outmatch me in comedy, and I specialize in orc jokes. Oh boy. I was born a fool, and I could, if I could die your fool. I could die your fool. Okay. Uh, ooh, dude, that is like a master comedian. Right there. Yeah, that dude. Alright. Cool. So is that everything? This turn? Okay. And I believe today would be the day of the festival, yeah? Okay. Attack nobody. Uh, that general is exclusively for defense. The militia has sent five troops to assist in defending against bandits. Heck yeah. Wait, no. Aw, oh, man. They raided my lands. Alright. At least they didn't take anything major. They just killed a bunch of bandits. Uh, for the... Ooh, barely in the green. Alright. Okay, uh, where the fuck's the celebration, huh? Well, whatever. Gonna go ahead and save it. We got an extra turn anyway. Oh, bye. Hope, hope you enjoyed an hour of this bullshit. Bye.